the continent is suffering under a second, second record-breaking heat wave this summer. As our planet gets hotter, we need to find better ways of adapting to extreme weather. Extreme drought is also hitting Utah farmers hard. Some farmers say they're having to walk away from fields of crops just to get through this dry year. Now, firefighters are battling more than 100 wildfires burning across Russia's Siberia. The fires are more intense this year due to high temperatures and a prolonged drought. It is feared the fires could significantly damage the region's ecosystem. Climate change is a global problem that will require a global solution. The latest science shows that nature can provide the best defenses against climate change impacts, including heat waves, drought, and rising sea levels. Ukraine is also observing and feeling climate change impacts and we see it in different um, observation reports. So what are the impacts that scientists are telling us will happen in Ukraine? This is basically what's happening on different scales all over the world. This is uh, more extreme weather events which is happening in Ukraine, more storms, more um, a strong wind. Uh, the changes in precipitation, which means that in some times there are drought uh, seasons and uh, there are no precipitation, no rains, while in uh, regions nearby or after some period of time, very heavy rains fall, which bring a lot of uh, negative impacts to the agriculture, to the infrastructure, to the cities and uh, local communities. There are also impacts on sea level rise, there are impacts on uh, more um, vulnerability to fires and in 2020 Ukraine was actually um, suffering from lack of water in the soil and as a consequence huge fires in different parts of Ukraine. And all these tendencies which we observe, they are projected for the future. And so there have been certain models and calculations and uh, yeah, in the early phase people thought, okay, until two degrees warming in comparison to pre-industrial times, we are safe. Uh, afterwards they discovered maybe this is not entirely safe, so better keep it to 1.5 degrees. Uh, actually it's impossible to tell because in under climate change, we now permanently discover new effects, new impacts and interactions. And now we have changes of the atmosphere, the biosphere, the pedosphere, like soils, uh, forests, everything is, is working uh, together. So I feel we shall not, well, look too much at, at specific numbers. Uh, uh, but we now are aware of the fact that we have come to a critical phase. Biosphere reserves are like the perfect places for implementing pioneer measures that can contribute both to the mitigation of global climate change but also like adaptation to the climate change that any will, will come or is already happening because this is something we recognize when we get these record-breaking high temperatures, extremes, droughts and so on. We have to be prepared, we have to act and uh, the ideal uh, well, approach in biosphere reserves is working with nature. You know, nature is doing already a good job, so we can help nature to help us. This is possibly the principle, what this is about. Uh, if we help nature to retain the water, keep uh, places wet, vegetation will function, uh, like greenhouse gases are, are not uh, emitted, and uh, we have a cooling of the landscape. Ecosystem-based adaptation, it's a use of both ecosystem services and biodiversity in order to reduce people and nature vulnerability to climate change of present and future. Similar terms you might heard before, it's nature-based adaptation or nature-based solution for climate change adaptation. It's quite similar. Simply saying we need more diverse wilder and greener nature to be more resilient to climate change. It implies using 
the natural properties and processes in ecosystem that help people to adapt to climate change. It consists of three main directions of measures. It's protection, restoration and sustainable use of ecosystem. In close cooperation between three UNESCO biosphere reserves, the Snensky, Shatsky and Rostocha, the Mikhail Sukor Foundation and the Center for Economics and Ecosystem Management at Eberswald University for Sustainable Development have joined forces in a project. It aims to explore options for ecosystem-based adaptation to climate change and help BIAS to become a role model in sustainable land use for surrounding areas and beyond. For promoting the ecosystem-based adaptation approach, the project worked from the national to the local levels where practical EBA measures were implemented. An idea contest was organized when 9 out of 29 project idea submissions for ecosystem-based adaptation were selected and financed. Based on these examples, we are going to tell how we can improve the situation. Drying of lakes and wetlands has a significant negative impact on climate change. Important ecological functions are under threat. Озеро Світя, яке знаходиться в складі національного парку, має свою унікальність в тому, що воно є карство генезису, карство походження. Можна навіть сказати, що вода відповідає, майже відповідає госту вода питна і може використовуватись як в зв'язку з тим, що Україна госфетифіцитна країна для питної води, може в майбутньому розглядають навіть як стратегічний запас питної води для України. Тому оберігати його дуже важливо. Ні, не раніше не було, жодного року не було без порумів. Оце спостерігатися почалося, я ж кажу, 19-20 рік, жодне зовсім не було. Це, як ми зараз ми бачимо, рівень води ще менший був і навесні. Це не дало змогу ні риби не рости, це зменшена чисельність риби. Всіх водой ми ті, що ми зараз бачили з вами з місць, які є з квадрокоптерів, що оті всі були поймені озера, річки висохши. Взагалі, ці вони наповняються внаслідок повинні, зберігаються до наступної. Wetlands perfectly retain water and cool the landscape, mitigate microclimatic fluctuations and have a positive effect on the groundwater regime. In Ukraine, hydraulic reclamation and the conversion of large areas to arable land have played a crucial role in the modern ecosystem. One such example is the failed attempt by the Soviet authorities to drain the centuries-old Zalivki bog for agricultural purposes. Due to the poor quality of the soil, large yields were not harvested here. However, peatlands have always been at critical level of fire risk. Такі сухі вітри, які зменшують вологість повітря і збільшують випаровування з ґрунту. Ґрунт пересихає. Понижується рівень ґрунтових вод, починаються турфові пожежі, які шкодять не тільки біорізноманіттю, але й людям. В населені пункти кутуються димом. As part of the ecosystem-based adaptation pilot measures, the Rostocha Biosphere Reserve has implemented an ambitious bog restoration project. It happened by covering the canals with wooden barriers, which gradually made it possible to fill the bog with water. In the future, the project itself may become a model for the restoration of wetlands and biodiversity. In the ecosystems, through all these changes, we have a Почастіше лизначна буреломи, вітровали, лісові насадження пошкоджуються різними видами кароїдів. Тривалі посухи, аномальні, аномальні підвищення температури, вони створюють в край складну пожежну небезпеку. Ну, всі ми спостерігаємо, які пожежі трапилися в Луганській області, в Чорнобильській зоні. Такі пожежі, ймовірні, і в нашому регіоні. As it turned out, ancient beach forests as well as healthy and untouched forests best cool the planet and are adapted to climate change.
In the Polisia region, forest cultures are represented by 60% as a rule by one age monocultural pine plantations. Such forests are much more vulnerable to climate change impacts and other threats. Trees are threatened by bog beetles. In addition, conventional intensive felling damages the forest ecosystem. During windbreaks, this forest is in the most threatening condition. There is very high fire danger in dry periods. Therefore, it is necessary to implement measures for forest conversion from pure to mixed, multi-tiered and multi-aged forests to increase their resistance and adaptive capacity. To achieve this goal, in the experimental plots at the Desnyansky and Shaisky Biosphere Reserves, the optimal species of deciduous trees were selected and planted in the existing pine forest as well as new areas were planted with the species. The temperature in such a forest is much lower and in the case of cataclysms, the forest will more easily adapt. In the Rostoche Biosphere Reserve, Large areas were exploited by a local sulfur chemical company. Production waste in the form of pulp was dumped into open areas. For the development of the forest ecosystem in these areas, it is necessary to carry out reclamation and afforestation, and this is a good method of adaptation in such situations. Intensive land use practices contribute to climate change put pressure on ecosystems and make them more vulnerable. For example, large-scale agricultural activities lead to soil degradation and a reduction of biomass, which under healthy conditions retains water and carbon. Soil degradation adds a huge amount of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Organic agriculture helps to improve soil conditions, retain moisture in the landscape and provide plants with nutrients. For example, the leaching of nutrients in agriculture can be reduced by minimizing the use of fast-soluble synthetic fertilizers and reducing the tillage intensity, like grubbing instead of plowing whenever possible. By planting forest belt at surrounding areas or leaving islands with tree vegetation in the middle of the field, you can hold back water and reduce soil erosion. Дуже спекотний стає останні там років 5-7, тому засну жара, яка не характерна для цієї зони, даже в 35-37 градусів, бо по 20-25 днів відбувається. Потім відбуває зміни в тому, що за останні 15 років сюди почали сіяти в цій зоні культури, які властиві більш центральній Україні. Ну, повторю, ми знаходимося в північна частина Сумської області, середину Бузький район. The main idea of one of the pilot projects is to offer the local population alternative crops that are on the one hand will be much more profitable and on the other hand help to reduce the negative impacts of climate change on agricultural systems and ensure stable agricultural production. For this purpose, perennial crops are selected such as blueberries, perennial herbs, berries, fruit trees, which can give new life to the local households and be safer for the ecosystem. Many inhabitants of the Biosphere Reserve are aware of the dangers related to climate change. It is important to raise awareness about solutions such as ecosystem-based adaptation as well. Implemented measures like the eco-parking in Shaitsk or the arboretum at the primary school in Svitis, together with the other seven measures implemented within the project, not only support ecosystems to increase the adaptive capacity to climate change, but are also important demonstration project for awareness raising. The great idea of a man and biosphere was 50 years ago founded, and for me it is one of the greatest ideas for man, for mankind. Man and biosphere, it is the begin of a new phase of mankind, go together as a landscape and the use of landscape by man. And actual time of uh, climate change and the loss of biodiversity, this field, it is, I think, so important for the future of our civilization uh, that we have many to do in the biosphere reserves of the world, 
we have more than 600 all over to go the way of sustainable land use and especially uh, to uh, give uh, uh, good land use ecosystems with uh, climate adaptation, with um, uh, climate protection by uh, vegetation uh, uh, cover, by wetlands, uh, by uh, peatlands, by old growth forest with a thick uh, uh, layer of humus with accumulation of peat and we need uh, such a uh, thing uh, in the landscape uh, for uh, our future. So extensive work for promoting the ecosystem-based adaptation approach on different levels was implemented in the project. The project included a number of workshops and capacity-building events, policy advice and contributions to the National Climate Change Adaptation Strategy development process. Based on comprehensive scientific work, different documents, such as situation and vulnerability analysis, maps, strategic outlooks for the Desnyansky, Rostocha and Shalsky Biosphere Reserves, were compiled in a toolbox and can be also used by other biosphere reserves in Ukraine. In addition, EBA strategies for climate change adaptation for different types of ecosystems in each of the three biosphere reserves were developed. The five most prospective ones were selected and respective work and monitoring plans for each strategy were developed, which are ready for implementation. Of course, implementation and the success of the plans will very much depend on the collaboration and support from different stakeholders. We also created a web page where you can find all the necessary information about ecosystem-based adaptation. We hope you will join us to support our nature and people. Let's do it together!